What is up everybody? Welcome to Toko Loka RC. If you like RC cars just as much as I do, hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment, and hit that notification bell for future videos. So today I'll just be doing a cool, very quick review of the Traxxas Rustler 4x4 VXL. This is by no means a new vehicle. However, I have had the vehicle um, for a while and I just wanted to kind of give um, my review on it just in case someone is looking to purchase the Rustler and kind of just want a little bit more insight. Um, and some of my thoughts of the vehicle. So let's get right into it. So first of all, this will be classified as the, um, like a four wheel drive stadium truck. This is a 110 scale vehicle. Um, as you can see here, just a really, really cool body scheme. Um, you got the purple, the pink, the white, the gray, um, and black as well. Uh, here's just a back view. You can just see that wheelie bar there. Um, and then just give you a view of the other side of the vehicle. Um, so just really, really cool design. This vehicle does come in six different colors. This is one of the newer colors. And as far as pricing, it goes for about 400 bucks online. Um, however, you can probably find uh, some of these use with your um, secondhand sites like eBay, uh, Amazon, and stuff like that. So now I'll just be talking about some of the, the features of the uh, four wheel drive stadium truck and some of the things I like and some of the things um, I don't like so much or some things I kind of love and hate at the same time. So if you take a closer look, there's really, really beefy tires as you can see here. Uh, so those beefy tires are just going to allow you to be able to kind of choose from a lot of different terrains, um, you know, whether that's grass, sand, dirt, rock, um, outdoor in a parking lot. It's just going to be able to withstand a lot of different conditions. This vehicle is also waterproof, so you will be able to run it through some water. Um, and I'll show you that in a second in the um, electronics on the interior of the car. Um, this is just the underside of the car, um, as you see here. Another thing that they improved on the new Rustler is a lower chassis. It's, the, it's called the low CG chassis, which is basically just going to give you um, more uh, responsiveness to the vehicle and also more aggressive handling. And another thing they also did, they just increased the wheelbase by 20 millimeters, which is just basically going to give you a better balance uh, and easier car to drive. So now we're going to look at the interior of the car. So this is the uh, the motor here. This is a 3500 uh, motor. And then we have the ESC here, uh, which is also um, waterproof. And then we also have the, the housing for uh, the receiver, which is also waterproof. Uh, so you can run this through water. However, I wouldn't submerge it um, because it's not meant to kind of be submerged in water, but it is designed to be able to kind of get wet. So here's a quick look at the the radio, pretty standard. Most of the radios look like this. So pretty standard radio here. So as far as the drivability of the car, it's a very easy car to drive. It's a very smooth sounding vehicle. So when you first pop that battery in, um, it's just gonna be a very smooth vehicle. Uh, I would also recommend getting a 3S battery out of the gate. It can take a 2S battery. However, I would just go ahead and get the 3S battery and the charger because there are some settings on the ESC where you can dial the car down to like beginner mode to slow that car down. But you will also be able to put it at the higher uh, setting when you do get used to the car that way you can kind of just go all out instead of having to go back and buy a 3s battery you all already have it as far as like speed you're probably going to get about 50 to 55 miles an hour however it does have some optional gearing where you can basically change out the spur and the pinion gear of the car and make it go upwards of 65 plus miles an hour however you will absolutely need a 3s battery to be able to run that speed so just overall um, I feel like this is a very fun vehicle it's easy to drive um, just some of the downsides I would say the price I would say it is a little high 400 bucks like I said it can handle many different terrains um, you can pop willies with it it's fast and uh, it's very smooth sounding the controls are not that hard and uh, the, the one gripe I do have besides, it's kind of like the price a little bit, is that body, that clipless body is nice, but it will take some getting used to when you're taking the body on and off. But other than that, I really don't have a lot of negative things to say about the Russell 4x4 VXL. So if you're looking for a fun vehicle uh, that's at a decent price point, maybe not the best, easy to drive and it does have a lot of options um, as far as uh, speed, 
also has a lot of different accessories you can buy for it as well so if i had to give it two thumbs up i'd definitely give it two thumbs up and i hope this video has been helpful for someone that is looking to get a new vehicle that's fun and overall and uh if you guys already have one please leave some comments below um and like i mentioned before if you're not already a subscriber please hit that subscribe button like share and comment and that notification bell and until next time